time for another whatnot unboxing. So this one that I have here um, is from a different seller that I've never purchased from before. So I'm going to go ahead and open it on up. Oh, it looks like I got a bonus. Okay, this is from Treasures of Wonder. Treasures of Wonder. That's a really good deal on this box because like everything that nobody, not nobody wanted, but like at the end he put everything to a lot that no one bid on um, and he auctioned that off and I happened to get that. So that was kind of cool. But let's see what the bonus is. So this is the free gift. This is cute. It's a little um, locket, it looks like, like an actual locket. Let me open it up. That's cute. It's a little locket. And then it's got like a little bitty heart there too. And it is it's got a signature. And this is from Claire's. Wow, I would have never thought that was Claire's. I really like this for a piece of Claire's. Not that Claire's isn't great. I loved Claire's when I was younger, but I would not have thought this was Claire's. I really like that one. Um, I might keep that one for myself, um, but I'm gonna value it at least $10. And then the second bonus piece, oh, there's a couple, or it's, okay, it's a shell, like a shell one. That's cool. It's got little bitty shells on here and beads and then like some wooden beads and then this, this nice shell piece right here too. So let's take a look at that. I should have put that box not on my leg. Hold on. Look at it on the mannequin. I'll have to turn that around when I'm taking photos. But that is so cool. That's really neat. I like that one. I'm going to value that one probably in the 15 range at least. Very unique with the little shells and things. I like that. So we got 10 and 15. We'll have a 20 plus And we'll have our scrap pile as we need. So he has everything labeled and that's really nice. This is a really nice pin. It's not um, branded or anything. I really, I'm really not so sure about pins, but it's definitely vintage. I would say it would at least go in the $5 range. I'm just gonna put it to the side and leave it in its nice little bag. This one I'm taking out because I'm not sure. Is this, is this a sweater clip? I think it's a sweater clip. Yes. Oh, I remember this. this. This is a sweater clip that was broken, but I bid on it anyways because it's like not too bad. It's like an easy fix. So it would go together here. And then it's just like these really cool like star parts. So they're both pins and then they go together. Um, or this could also be taken off. You know, I don't even know if that's... It doesn't look original. It's like a different color gold. So I wonder if someone was trying to put it back together. Either way, it could be sold back as a sweater clip or as um, two separate little nice pins. I'll have to look into that. But I'm gonna value the sweater clip as scrap because right now it's broken. This is so cute, it's a little teddy. This is, um, I'm pretty sure this is like Cherish Teddies. Like, you know, you might see um, the figurines. So it looks like a cherished teddy. It doesn't say on it, which is odd, but I'm almost positive that is a cherished teddy. But I'll have to look it up and research it first before labeling it as such, because it isn't saying it on there. I would say that that piece would go possibly, I'll put it in five now because I'm not sure if it's cherished teddy or not, but it's, but it's a really cool little bear, which I think is kind of unique too. Hmm. We'll leave them in five though. We'll see. This little chicken that crossed the road to get to the other side or something. This is so cute. It's like a little primitive chicken. I love it. I think I might keep it in my little primitive box. It says made in China, but I just love the checkered pattern, pattern, pattern on it, but it says Susie. So I'll have to look up, see what that might go for. But otherwise I have like a little box in my kitchen because my kitchen is primitive style and chickens and apples and farmyard stuff basically. And I think that would look really cute in my little shadow box. So I'm gonna value this at $10 because I collect primitive things and primary things that I think this would go for at least $10 because people like that popular style. 
Ooh, so we got some really neat little pins. This one's definitely old looking. That's really cute. I think those are like, yeah, those are real flowers in there. That's unique. I know like there's people who collect like dried flowers and stuff. So I would value that pin at $10. Worth about mostly in the $10 range. So they're not, they have like a, like this is starting to peel off. Like the top. And it could be a little bit old, but I'm not exactly sure. I'd have to screenshot it and double check. But this one, I would say right now, because of it's got to be fixed, it's in my scrap pile, but probably in the $10 range once it's fixed. So this is cool. I got this one because, of course, resale and ship. It's so just a little cute little um, boat pin, but, but. I'm almost positive and I might, I might be wrong. I'll have to look it up, but based on the age, this, just the background, I feel like, um, there was jewelry at one time that would be made on butterfly ring wings. And I don't know if that's exactly what this is or not. And I didn't even think about it at the time. It's just seeing it now close up, but it reminds me of that because um, my mom had some jewelry like that. So I'll have to look it up and research that. But either way, it's very, very neat. I'm gonna value this one at probably $10 range. This one has some word like in another language, maybe Russian, I don't know. This is what it looks like. It's got some scratches on it, but this is what it says on the back, Bepska. So I don't know what that could be worth, but it is scratched right there. But I would say at least in the $10 range, it's very unique. I think I forgot to say it, but what I was trying to say before was, I think I must have bid on a pin lot, why I have so many different pins. Though I do remember bidding on like some pins individually. That is really neat. Doesn't have any markings on it or anything, but it looks kind of old. I would say that it would at least go in the $10 range. So this is a really cool um, stone beaded necklace, like a little choker style because it is a double layer. But I would imagine that if I wanted to make it longer, it'd be not too hard because um, there's a wire and it could just be kind of made into one big strand if I um, connected these together. But Otherwise, it is a really cute little choker necklace. Oh. But really, again, quite tight up there. This also looks like a really cute, just nice little choker. This is the symbol on it. I don't know. I'm going to freeze it right there. Or not freeze it, but show it right there and probably screenshot that later and decide what that could be. What brand. That's what that looks like. Um, I'm going to value it in the $10 range for now. And then, you know, I could always add a pendant on there. Like, um, oh, this one's too small. But this one from the other time would have looked kind of cool. Not putting it in a scrap though because it is a really nice piece, so I'll say $10 range. It's like a real shell. Well, it is a real shell, not light. That is a real shell right there. The little bead right here. And then just really on a simple, simple little um, lanyard rope type thing. I would think this could go in the $10 range, though I almost feel like this could be on something nicer than just this little rope chain. This is a very long rope chain, which just seems very simple to me. Like it could have been a little bit more because I really like that pendant on there. Hmm. I think I'm going to put it in the jewelry making pile because I really think this could be better constructed and added to and just be really cute. I mean, it's, it is nice and simple, but I... I see more for this. That's all. We'll put it in. Well, it's a full necklace, so I'll put it in. I'll put it in the $5 range. And then probably 
do something to it. I think these might be acrylic beads. They look like stone, but I think they're. But acrylic. I really like how they look. I'm just looking, think about them a little bit more. But I think that's really unique. Whatever it's made out of, I think is definitely at least a twenty dollar piece. I think. It's very this is cute. just a little metal leaf, maybe with a copper, copper painted yeah. copper, and then on a um, just a thin natural leather thing. I feel like there could be some added things to this one too, and this piece of leather is not. I don't know, it just could be a little bit more added to or something like to make it look nice and not just like somebody put a leaf on a piece of leather. I don't know. But I would think that this one would go for at least $10 because that leaf is really neat. But I might do the same thing like I did, was talking about for the shell. Add to it a little bit. This is a second year Presbyterian little pin and actually it says second year and third year on it so here's the second year and then it says third year so maybe this was some kind of pin you would get it says little system Georgia gold filled there you go gold filled 920 10 carat or 729 carat gold filled. Hmm. Well, that's cool. I'll have to find out more about what it is, though. It looks a little bit like it's coming undone. Maybe it's supposed to be like that, but yeah. 10 carat gold filled. Very cool. Don't know a lot about gold filled or things, but I'm going to say that it's at least $10 if not more. Cute little baby pin where you can put a picture in. He's cute. He's a JJ pin. So I'm going to say $10. Nice little just random brooch. Is signed Monet. It's a little bit of polishing. But just cute. Like leaves. Let's say $10 because it's Monet. Looks like it's new on the little chain. Nice um, white cross. Very long. It's really cute. Probably more recent fashion jewelry than anything else, but still kind of unique. This is a really cool piece. I really like the moon and the crosses and it looks like it's all hand done and this was like carved or burned or something. I feel like the string that it's on is, is not doing it as much justice as it could. Like this particular piece I think would have done better with like a darker, like the leather here or this. Um, but it's not it's not a bad piece I just feel like the cord that it on is on kind of cheapens it just a bit but it's very unique and it's a Cora Casey studies 32 so it might be a student art piece that they did um, I like it I think it's neat um, I think even with this on probably here, I'm going the $15 range because it's a one of a kind, probably. Or it's piece 32, but it's unique enough to. Is this some kind of stone with some kind of metal? I'm thinking like, um, I don't know, like maybe bronze or something. It's not magnetic. This, this leather chain I like better as like. Like it's better quality and I could see this piece being on this chain um, with it or something. I don't know. 
reluctant to take it apart. But at the same time, it's very cool. So that 15, and then I would think this one would sell in the 15 range as well. So like those that. must have been my single pieces. And here comes my box of everything that everybody like wanted didn't want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut off this video and then do a part two with that unboxing. so thanks so much for watching please subscribe and please check out video two bye